What's going on gamers? Today we're going over how to install and play FTB Interactions. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our future tutorials. Gamers, I have done so many runs of vanilla Minecraft, and I'm sure you have too. It starts to feel like everything is literally just laid out for you at some point. Like the portals you need are perfectly placed in just the right spot, like you're some lucky speedrunner. Don't you want to spice up your Minecraft gameplays? Don't you need something different? Something more than just the same old thing? Well, let me introduce to you FTB Interactions. FTB Interactions is a super cool mod pack that covers a wide variety of mods for all types of players. Today, we're going to cover how to install it and how to get started with it. But before we jump into it, you have to know that you can find any links you need in the description below. Just head into useful links and you'll be all set. To install it on your server, first open up your Apex panel and click on the red stop button to stop the server. Next, scroll down to where you see the game file field. Then you're going to search in the search bar, FTB interactions. Select the option that shows up. From here, a pop-up will appear and you will need to select change version. Select create new world. In this case, you may run the risk of breaking the server otherwise. Then select restart now. Once the server has been reset, you will be ready to play. One other thing that is required in this mod pack is this. You're going to need to stop the server once more and head into your config files section. Open up the server settings and once the page is open, you're going to scroll down to where you see level type. Delete whatever is filled in that spot, default usually is the default, and fill in the word void world, just like that. Scroll down to the green save bar and save your work. Create a new world again and restart the server one more time. The reason you want this is so that the floating islands are floating properly and they're not close to the ground. To get it installed on your client, you're first going to need to head to feed-the-beast.com to get the FTB app downloaded onto your client. From here, you should be able to go to the download section and you're going to download it for whatever operating system you're running. I'm running Windows, so that's what I'll be selecting. And then you're going to run the installer. Launch the FTB app when it's complete and then navigate to the browse section. From here, you're going to search up FTB interactions and then you're going to press the green install button on the right hand side of the highlighted section. Once this is complete, You'll be able to go to the My Mod Packs page and see the mod pack right there, and you'll be able to launch it no problem. Now let's get started. When you first create the world, you should be trapped on one island with basically nothing but a tree. This is where we begin by checking the surrounding area and what we have in our inventory. The first thing you'll notice is obviously the tree. This is just a regular tree and it's helpful for obtaining wood and saplings pretty early. Next is a square of dirt. This can be helpful for planting items or trees. From here, you'll see the transmutation table. What is this you may ask? Well, this table is able to turn one item into another. For example, if you input sand, you could then receive cobblestone. Another thing you may see around the area is these glowing wisps. These things are very helpful early in game because they keep your island lit up. They essentially function as a torch. Once you open up your inventory, you'll see a lunchbox. Opening this lunchbox will grant you some berries. This will be helpful to keep your hunger away. You'll also see the Tome of Knowledge. The Tome of Knowledge is the main item that's used in the transmutation table to turn all available items. Of course, no good mod pack is complete without a quest book, so from here it should have an entirely new menu with quest setups. To begin the quests, you're first going to press the large gear symbol. You'll be able to read through whatever the quest says, and then you're going to press accept to start the quest. Once you've completed the quest, you want to make sure that you click the rewards on the right hand side. From here, you're going to go down the list 
quest by quest, and as you receive the newer and harder quests, you'll also get better rewards. Of course, you'll also get further into the mod because there's more to do. Now let's cover some common issues. The first is, if you're falling through a void or there's no island, it usually means that the level type was not correctly set in the server. Just head back to config files, make sure the level type is void world, and you should be good to go. The next is kind of a general grouping. If you're not running the mod pack on your client side or your server does not match the client side mod pack that you're trying to run, you probably won't be able to start the game. All you have to do is make sure that there's no conflicting mods or mod packs and you should be good to go. Whew, that sure seemed like a lot, huh gamers? As you can probably tell, there's much more to check out than the surface we just barely scratched. I mean, there are tons of things to get started on in FTB interactions, and if a challenge is what you're looking for, then this mod pack is perfect for you. There will come a point where you can even create a portal to the overworld. Just stay wary though, gamers. It's not like the overworld that you're familiar with. Anyway, that'll just about do it for this one. And as always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.